Air tools have become vital to almost anything you want to do. Pneumatic power is a wonderful way to transmit power to a specific location. I have need for pneumatic tooling in two general areas, in the shop and out on the job site. What I want to talk about for a few minutes is air hoses. So from 1980 to 2008, I used either rubber or PVC air hoses. Three-eighths, they're about, what is that, three, quarter of a, three quarters of an inch outside diameter. Some of them are more flexible than others, and some of them are stickier than others, and some of them are tougher than others. So for a long time, I never considered that there would be any, anything better than this. You know, it, in the summertime, they're fabulous, and they, they, they're tough. You know, you can drag them around, and they're great. But in the wintertime, man, they get stiff. And then when they're stiff, you can't straighten them out, and they're hung up, and they're... So they have their strong suits and their weak suits, and you can still buy them, and you can still like them. I mean, a 3 8 hose carries quite a bit of air, enough to run a die grinder, certainly enough for a nail gun, pneumatic fastening. It, there's reasons to continue to buy these. But in 2008, a friend of mine, in fact, he was working for me, Cody Bias, told me about these new Eel, I think the brand was, but I'm not here to, to recommend a brand. I'm here to recommend a type. You see this? This is only a quarter of an inch in diameter. Polyurethane, slick, a harder finish. You can kind of see through it and see the mesh that's in there for reinforcement. Now, all air hoses and hydraulic hoses, any kind of a hose for transmitting power has an internal structure that enables it to withstand the loads. But you can see it in this one for crying out loud. Here's the deal. These things, a smaller diameter, they coil up nice and tight, okay? They take less space if you're a coiler of your hoses. But for me, on the job site with pneumatic fastening, the thing that sells this is it is slick. You can pull this around a few corners. You can drag it through the trusses when you're up in the air stacking. It'll come by the corner of your truck. It'll sometimes even come by the corner of a rubber tire on the ground for a while before it hangs up. So I'm a believer, okay? These polyurethane hoses, smaller diameter for your on-site pneumatic fastening are the way to go. I bought a 100-footer because I work you know, on bigger job sites, but for most people, probably a 50-footer is perfect. If it does take a set from your coiling, you can kind of stretch it, give it a pull, and it kind of goes back to straight. They slide. They're flexible in cold weather. They're not as prone to kink. They're plenty tough enough. They carry all the air you need. They coil up nice and tight, and the prices come down. When, they first, when I bought this one, it was expensive. I, I mean, it, I kind of choked, right? but I've never regretted owning it. And now with the price down to where they're very affordable, next air hose you buy ought to be one of these polyurethane quarter inch, particularly for pneumatic fastening. Now there's a lot of different manufacturers. I can't speak to the specifics, but we'll put a link in the notes to one like this or one like the one that Nate has, something we have some track record with. You're gonna like it. Put that thing to work. Thanks for watching.